Hello beautiful people, Psychic Debbie here, hoping you're having a great day. Today we're talking about the root chakra. So the root chakra is the one of seven primary chakras that's in the bottom of these little vortexes, like the third eye and the throat and the heart. And the root chakra is at the base of your tailbone. <laughs> I was trying to think there for a minute. So it's at the very base. It is very connected to body. It's a very, it's very connected to the body. It's a spirit. It connects with spiritual longing. It's connected to allowing and how it's going to come to you. It's very, very connected. And, and it's, it's the seed. It's the seed of everything. So it's kind of funny seed sitting. I don't know if that, <laughs> but it's like the seed of, of the power of you. It's the seed of allowing or how it's going to come to you, or being in the confidence, security. It's connected to security. It's connected to fear, worry, and doubt. So getting that, working on your first chakra or your root chakra, having that, working with that and being connected to it and opening it up will help you allow things to come in or your dreams to be a reality or your intentions to be a reality. And if you're, if it's not, if you're not connected to that, it, obviously it's the color red. So I'm wearing red and I'm wearing coral. A friend of mine made this necklace for me probably about seven years ago. Isn't that pretty? I'm wearing coral again. So that you, um, wearing red, looking at red, and I need to wear red more often. I noticed I didn't have much red either. Um, I always wear red lipstick and people are very attracted to it. What was it, Nancy Reagan always wore red for confidence and bringing that, you know, romance to you, even bringing the confidence and power to you. So the first chakra is all connected to that. And like I said, it's the seed, honey. It's the seed of um, bringing the power through. And so I'm going to kind of give you a little story with me was I was all, you know, a lot of people that are intuitive are all trying to bring it up here, their head, their third eye, their, their throat. And if you're all this and you're not focusing on the seed, you're not focusing on the second or third or fourth chakra, you can't bring that power up in opening this up. So when then I started working on the first chakra of allowing and accepting and being in the confidence of who I am, not only was I bringing prosperity to me and joy and love to me, but my insight was even 10 times stronger. So if that doesn't give you enough reasons to work on your first chakra, I don't know what is. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great thing. It's an, the identity of it is physical. It's a very physical, um, that's why people that have insecurity is because they'll, they'll um, worry about what they physically look like. Do you know what I mean? They, they physically, are doing the Botox and they're doing the the um, things for the body. And am I saying not to do it? No, I say go for it. But are you doing it because of insecurity or are you doing it because it's the truth of who you are? It's, it's it, There's a difference there. And um, so that will connect to the seed again of you, of you allowing, bringing the, the love, the joy, the happiness, the health, the wealth, the prosperity, spirituality into your life. So this is the, the, the first chakra is going to help you plant whatever intention you're having. So if you're planting the seed in fear, worry, and doubt, or ego, which I, I say is fear, worry, and doubt, is ego, which is body. So that, that makes it kind of hard. I get that because when it's your first chakra, when we're working on the first chakra and trying to connect with it, that the the ego is going to rise up the stories are going to rise up and we have to be to clear it and bring and make it bigger and making it shine 
And so that the energy or the vibration of the first chakra can help push all the other chakras to be in the, the brightness of what they are, we have to take away the body. The, we have to take away the body. And I, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope it does. So um, it is also connected to smell. And so when I heard that, I was like, okay, I get it. I know that I opened up my first chakra because I was doing a retreat in Sedona. I, was, I had these two lovely ladies with me. And even one of the ladies was like, God, it's, my smell is just like, holy crap, I can smell everything. Good and bad. <laughs> so it's like someone's stinky over there or farted or, <laughs> or something like that. You're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I want my smell to be that big. But mine was the same way. It was like, wow. But when I'm doing readings or if you're being a medium, if you want to be a medium or in, being intuitive, use it for whatever form, sense of smell is a big thing because it's like that smells like a lie or that just, just doesn't smell right. So being, having the, not just smelling it, but sensing, the sense is very strong. So it's like, mm, that deal doesn't seem right. That doesn't smell right to me. Or, um, but it's beautiful. Or that person is loving you and giving you flowers and you're like, oh, this smells so good. It senses so good. That is your root chakra. That is your root chakra. So that's why from ancient times giving you a red flower is not just only for the heart but it's also for the root chakra and then sensing and giving you the security of saying i love you you can trust me okay so be that being said um the root chakra is definitely definitely connected to um security and and um allowing and being it's a uh, it's a sign of being it's a sign of being who you are and and being very connected and so you're going to go well debbie what is a sign that i am not being connected or that my first chakra is not allowing me in well if you're poor and you want prosperity am i saying i'm against being poor no but if you are poor you're you're you want prosperity you're not allowing prosperity to come into you because with me, when I was talking to spirit, they showed me that that's the first step, again, the seed of um, bringing greatness to you is allowing, okay? It's, a, it's allowing and accepting who you are. So it's the sign of the being of who you are. So if you fell, you got in a car accident, you um, tumbled, you, you feel like you're being pushed, um, Someone said something to you, and if you were not brushing it off, someone said something derogatory to you, not very nice to you, and you can't brush it off, you're, you're soaking it in, then you know that your first chakra is not at the brightest it can be, because if you're in the confidence of who you are, your first chakra is in the confidence of who you are, it's the seed, it's the allowing of your truth to come through, it's not going to affect you, honey. It's not going to affect you. You go, okay, that's their opinion. I don't like you. I don't like what you're doing. Okay, what is, what is your perspective of me have to do with me kind of thing? And you, when you can be in that place. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So another thing, another sign is, um, like me, security. It, it, the first chakra really, really works with security and um, being comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Being it's like at ease, things come to you at ease. And so I've been moving a lot because that's why you haven't seen me for a while, but because I've been moving a lot, moved from Montana, rented out our cabin, moved to Burbank, California. Um, then my son moved out of the Burbank apartment, so we helped him move. And then we went from Burbank to Oxnard and helped them move again. And the cat, it affected the cat, it affected me, it affected my husband, to the point that my foot, I, it's like, if you see me now, I'm like limping. But I, the spirit of me is going, uh, no, the body of me is going, it's too much movement. I don't know if there's security here. So don't move so much. Don't move so much. We, we need you to relax. Well, if you are in the confidence of who you are, that's the body. That has nothing to do with the spirit of who I am. So then I'm, if I'm in the confidence and allowing that first chakra to open up, being the four leaf 
chakra. It has the four leaves and it's the lotus uh, open up and connect to that and and bring the energy into the first chakra and opening it up. Do you know what I mean? Then then I can go forward. So another exercise to do that with with the first chakra to get it to get it open um, is dance. Go dancing. I love dancing. My husband doesn't like dancing. But the other night, I, I ran into a, a beautiful lady, friend of mine, and we were like, let's dance. And she's like, okay. And we were the only ones on the dance floor. But we had people come up to us going, yeah, ooh, I love it that you guys are dancing. I mean, we were just like, and it was it was great. It was such a great feeling. It, was, it helped with the structure, believe it or not. My foot wasn't affected doing the dance. Hmm. Doesn't that make, sound funny? Or go take a walk. Walk in the wilderness. And look at and connect to everything. Send, um, go walk in the woods, walk in the trees, and say the tree and I are one. And bring the energy of the tree and the vibration of the tree into your first chakra. See a light of the tree coming into your first chakra, and and clearing it out and taking out all the yuck in it. That's how you can open it up. You can also, like I said, wear wear stones. So connect to the stone of obsidian. Or, I have my trusty little red bag here with little, my little stones. Um, so, like, connect with tourmaline. Tourmaline is a good stone. It protects you. It grounds you. It can help open up your first chakra. Uh, smoky quartz. This is a little smoky quartz. I have a bigger one in the other room. Uh, obsidian. This has even got the mahogany in it. It's got the red in it. That can help you with it. Um, red jasper. Hematite. All those kind of stones, wear them, coral, wear them, and tell the stones again, you know what I mean? Here's another big obsidian. You know, I'm going to put my yuck into you. Help me open up my first chakra. Help me open up the greatness. Also, while you're doing that, you can say, I feel deeply rooted. Like when you're taking a walk in the woods. I feel deeply rooted. R rooted, sorry. <laughs> Can't even talk. Or um, I feel secure. I am safe to allow. Show me how, you know, you could connect to the stone and sh show me how to be opening up my first chakra. I am blessed. That's when, you know, like um, Oprah and other people are saying, bless everything and thank everything. And you say, yes, I am thankful for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessing everything is going to open up your first chakra and is going to allow the greatness to come to you. Saying that you're prosperous, blessing other people than not just blessing yourself. Because if you're blessing other people, then you're gonna bless, then, then you have to open up your first chakra to bless someone else. You have to open up your first chakra if you're blessing your home. You have to open up your first chakra and allowing that great prosperity, joy, love, happiness, health, wealth, and spirituality to you. So work with your first chakra. And this is just kind of like the beginning of it. I know this is, you know, uh, there's more to it, a way more to it. I don't, probably don't know it all. I know I don't know it all. <laughs> but I was just going to help you with um, the security right now because I feel like people are feeling very insecure with things going on in the world and things going on in people's lives and the shifts of the universes. So this will help you connect with your first chakra allow to be blessed, allow the prosperity, allow the love and joy and happiness to come to you, wear some red, wear some coral, bring the joy, bring the stability to you, and it will protect you, okay? Even by connecting with stones or whatever. It allow that first chakra to help you because it's the seed of you. It's the truth of who you are. I hope that makes sense. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to send you blessings and smiles. Mwah! Bye-bye.